YouTube, what's up? Another day, another dollar. Two days out, we're heading to Vegas. Uh, we gotta get that working, man. Brand new low body weight, 204.2. Woo! Woo! Um, little front squats, probably trap bar deads, back bicep. Big old bicep day, cardio sprints, we'll head out of here. I don't know, what, what are we talking about? What do the kids wanna know? Kids, what you wanna know? Comment below, man. Any questions or anything, we'll help you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed the last video, just like kind of a Q&A. Uh, jam. We have a lot of fun with those. It gives us ideas to rant, ramble, have a good time. Uh, pretty packed house, man. So all the boys showed up. So we'll film some of them, see what they're getting after. They was thinking about today, like, because I'm a hater, so I, I talk shit and think about like why people dress a certain way and why people like nice things or why they like nice sneakers. And then like try to compare it to why like I like nice sneakers or I like, these are just random, you know, internal thoughts that I have dialogue going all day. And like I, and like building confidence. Someone asked confidence in the gym or confidence when you make a mistake. We did a Q and A and we talked about it a little bit here. Like how do you move forward when you did something dumb or feel dumb or something of that nature? And for me, like confidence is built through repeated success. And I'm not the guy to tell you to wake up every morning and make your bed so you can pat yourself on the shoulder and say, I got something done today, I made my bed. But I do think there's small setups and throwing yourselves alley-oops and giving yourself, putting yourself in correct situations to succeed. If you never succeed or you never win or you never get better, it's gonna be hard to be confident. It is, right? If you're always losing, always getting shitted on. Um, so even getting dressed and how I, how I present myself to the world, how I feel about myself daily is step one to confidence. Seabass saw it on Instagram and said, uh, I've never seen this man lift a weight or miss a weight. I posted a, a fail. And it's not because I don't post it, because that's the whole thing. Like, you only post your good lifts. Like, no, bitch, I don't miss because I set myself up for success. I know after repeated programming and thoughts and process over time what I can hit and what I can't hit when I can't hit it. And so I want to see and feel myself succeed. There's another old basketball analogy is like, you don't, you don't leave on a miss. So if I'm shooting 100 shots a day or 100 shots on the free throw line, I'm not leaving the gym on a miss. That's just bad, that's bad mojo, bad vibes. So I hit, I hit my last shot before I leave. Setting yourself up for success, visualizing that success um, can ultimately kind of build yourself into, you know, confidence over time. Confess the love of my life to uh, Jennifer Conley on our last podcast. Ooh. Jennifer Conley. Wifey. You have to choose a lover. And it's me, it's me or Tom Cruise. Who are you going home with? I don't think that we could set it up like that. No, the, literally there's two people on earth and you have to love one of us. <laughs> it's Tom Cruise or I. Uh, Who are you this, taking to bed? I don't like this at all. Taking Tom Cruise, so you're taking Tom Cruise? You're taking Tom Cruise like to bed. This. You're taking like, Tom Cruise to bed. I don't like this scenario. Are you taking Tom Cruise? I don't either. The end of the world isn't fun. There's only three of us. No one likes this scenario. It's only three of you. No one likes this scenario. Who are you making sweet, sweet love to? Well, Tom listen, Cruise or me? You, you just kill no, no. There's no violence. There's only three of us. We need him to go. We need him to go get firewood. He's getting us firewood. Well, I think you're having sex. I'm cutting No. Are making love to you or Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise. Oh. No. Tom, no. I, that's just not true. Why? Uh, I mean, 